this video is all about um, alternative materials for plates and matrixes. Uh, so coming up with different ways um, to still make prints, but maybe you don't have the equipment and materials that you normally would have access to. So just coming up with some different solutions. Um, first one, obvious solution, lino. You might have some lino at home, which is great. Um, if you don't, that's fine too. Think of other things that you can carve. Um, so styrofoam is a really good relief plate option. Um, so maybe you have some styrofoam plates kicking around. Um, maybe there's some packaging and something that you bought recently. So you can carve this as well. And this is really great because then you don't need carving tools. You can just use uh, like a dead pen um, that's not giving off any more ink, um, a pencil, anything like that, a nail, and you could just be drawing with that. And so that's a really great way to still do really printing at home, uh, but with a few materials. Um, another option for uh, plates is to make a collagraph. And you can make a relief plate out of it. So just getting some cardboard or uh, mat board, maybe you have some uh, lying around, um, really anything that's like a sturdier surface will work fine. And then you could be adding materials onto this. Um, it could be more cardboard, you could just be gluing it. You could use gel medium, uh, paint, just to make textured surfaces. Or you can uh, treat it as an intaglio plate as well and be uh, drawing into it. So consider different ways that you can use simple materials. You will need to seal these, so with glue or uh, like matte medium or something after to uh, just seal it so then your ink doesn't get into it. You can also consider like making embossment plates with this. Um, so there's a lot of options uh, there. Another one is just some acetate. You probably can't see this. There you go. Um, or plexi. So these could be really great monotype uh, plates. So you could use this to roll ink up onto, to paint, uh, work additively or reductively. Um, or you can use it as an intaglio plate too and be doing dry point. So you can actually draw into the surface with an etching needle or another sharp tool and then um, using that as your plate. Uh, I have old aluminum plates from Photolitho lying around, so I cut some up, um, and they're great for dry point. Um, you do need more pressure for printing, so just test that out, but uh, depending, on how, depending on how thick your lines are, um, you can still get some prints from that. Another great thing uh, that I found recently is uh, like juice boxes. So Tetra Pak, it's like this kind of plastic, metallic-y surface but you can draw into it with a sharp tool. So you can treat this like an intaglio plate or kind of like a relief carving in a way um, and use this as a surface. So really great to reuse this, uh, otherwise like kind of useless material that kind of gets recycled, kind of doesn't, um, but you can use it in your practice too. Um, another one is just like pieces of wood that you might have. Uh, so you could carve this, um, if you don't have carving tools around, maybe you could cut it um, or ink up certain parts just to get shapes uh, and texture for printing. Uh, and then other options too are just simple materials. So this one's bubble wrap, um, some textured cardboard, netting, and fabric. So you can use these as stamps. Uh, you could use it for portage, some rubbings. Um, so there's a lot of things around your house that are pretty easy to turn into printmaking materials. Um, the next video is gonna be all about uh, ones that you can make into tools and brayers. Uh, so you can check that one out, thanks.